This is a quick video to show you how to start an expressive face in clay. Take a piece of clay that's been wedged and compressed and cut it into two equal balls and form them and pat them and then place your thumb inside to make a small pinch pot. Make it about the thickness of a pencil. You want to make another pinch pot that's the same thickness and the same width and then attach them together stitching them with your thumb and trapping the air inside. After the air is trapped inside it's going to be like a balloon and you can refine it and add clay to reinforce the weaker parts and shape it into an upside down egg. After you have the upside down egg made and it's all smoothed and refined, take your thumbs and press them into the clay to make the eye sockets. This will give you a good foundation for your um, facial features. Next, make the eyes. Take two pieces of clay equal size and roll them into balls and place them on the head. You can draw the lines for the general proportions of the head to use as a guideline. Make sure any clay that you attach, you scratch, add water, and attach. It's very important, especially if the clay has dried out a little bit and you're attaching wet clay to dry clay. Make sure you scratch, add water, and attach. Build up the forehead and build up the nose with the clay. Remember, this is an additive technique. We wanna make sure the eyes don't look like they're popping out of the head. So it's really important to build up the forehead and the bridge of the nose before we even start working on the details of the eyes. You can see I haven't even attached the eyes yet. Next. Place some clay on the nose and determine the width that you want the nose. Use your modeling tool to shape it into the shape that you want. And take some clay and add it to the tip of the nose where the nose points out a little bit. I'm just roughing out the features right now. I don't want to want I don't want to finish one feature and then go on to the next. I want to rough out all the features and then go back and add details and shape them into the exact shape that I want. Next, take some clay and add it for the mouth. Your mouth also sticks out a little bit. So again, scratch, add water, and attach if your clay is not wet. Now mine is very pliable, still in the pliable and wet stage, so I'm adding clay without scratching and attaching. Take a sm some small pieces of clay and add it for the cheeks. If you don't add cheekbones, your face will look like it's sagging. I added spheres because I'm making a smiling face. And when the muscles on your face pull up, um, it looks like you have balls under your eyes. So I'm also drawing the lines that extend from the nostrils to the sides of the mouth that are created when you make a smile and those muscles pull your cheeks up. Now, you're, if you're making a different expression, you're gonna have to look at that expression to determine what shape the cheeks should be. Add some clay for the chin. Don't forget about the chin. And look at the shape of the face that you wanna create. It might be more round, it might be more square. It's really up to you how much clay you wanna add and what the shape of the face is that you're trying to make. Next, we're gonna take make the lips. Add some more clay, and you wanna make them rounded. You don't want them to be flat. So take your modeling tool, and first I'm gonna flatten out that top lip, and then I'm gonna make a rounded bottom lip. I'm making the, the part where the lips come together. And I also, again, don't want my lips to be straight across. I want them to curve with the head and back into the cheeks. So I don't want them to be straight across. You can see I'm kind of pressing them back, the corners of the lips back a little bit into the cheeks. Next, let's make, let's make the eyelids. So I'm taking a little piece of clay and rolling it into a coil 
and I'm going to take that quail and pinch it between my fingers and flatten it out. Make sure you pinch it pretty thin. You don't want a big thick eyelid. And just smooth it into the eye, right on top of the eyeball and into the into the clay on the side of the head. And next, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make a smaller coil and pinch it again to make the bottom eyelid. Now, depending on your expression, you might place your eyelids more open or more closed. So you can use your modeling tool to smooth them into the clay. I'm making creases on the corners of the eyes and then also putting some clay into the corner of the eye closest to the nose. And then just continue working on your, your details. Now it's important to add some nostrils. Don't put them straight in. Make sure you go up when you're putting those nostrils in with the pencil. And I used a pencil to make the, eye, the pupils on the eyes as well, since this is a very small head. You can draw the irises in later, which is the colored part of the eye. And then also just make some adjustments. Adjust the eyelids so they don't look like in a, surpri a surprised face, unless you're trying to make a surprised face. Now you can add a little bit of clay for the crease above the eyelid in the fleshy part right above the eyelid and smooth that out with your modeling tool. My fingers are too big to get into small places like that, so it's really critical to use the right size modeling tool for the job. When you're finished, don't forget to let out the trapped air by making a hole in the bottom of the project. Here are some student examples of their expressive faces in clay. It's up to you to decide what yours is going to look like. So use your imagination. Do you want to combine a human and a machine or a human and nature? What kind of details will you add? Will you add hair, jewelry, ears, teeth? What kind of expression will you make? Will you exaggerate the eyes or the nose? 